first update. So I am, uh, I've only read one chapter. So um, yeah, I'm about to start chapter two. Yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know. So this book starts with a bang, okay? We literally are just thrown into the action from page one and well you sit there and go like what the bloody hell is happening uh, well i don't know i don't know so our main character um what's her name again sil 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 sarah 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 sil she is awoken in the middle of the night uh after having you know having way too much to drink the night before so in the middle of the night she's awoken and she needs to like do her thing basically which is <laughs> so basically what she does she's like well it's called a mind walker hence the title who knew um basically what she does is that she enters the mind and body uh of a agent out in the field um with their consent so she goes in like a operator sort of give me your consent and i will get you out of this situation and that's basically what she does uh <laughs> what <laughs> i'm intrigued um i i want to know more i mean it's 12 pages one chapter um I, yeah i don't know a lot yet so i'll check back i'll check back I swear I moved. I swear I moved. Um, <laughs> I read some more. Um, so we are, we have a read 86 pages and are about to start chapter 10. Woo! So <laughs> a lot more has happened. Basically, all hell broke loose. <laughs> All hell broke loose and uh, still um, she basically found out that she was going to get decommissioned which is basically when they um, so they, they these mind walkers they have like a computer ish thing in their brain and um, and they use it to you know help agents out on the field and stuff uh, so being decommissioned is basically well, I'm not too sure yet because it hasn't been like properly can can explain <laughs> explained. Um, but it's basically so these um computer things they have a limited time shelf time, uh, and they will start to witter and die away. So she's yeah. Um, but towards the end of the sh shelf life, um, they get like the uh the the, the decommissioner part sort of like gives you a bit more time to go say goodbye to your friends and family basically i don't know basically uh in this case she will get locked up um because she's been blamed for something she did not do Whew. so um she finds out beforehand and she basically escapes. So now she's out in the world that she doesn't really know because she's been sort of confined to this building, I guess. Um, they have gotten the chance to go out and stuff, but it's it's basically, yeah, it's not like normal to her. Um, so now she's out and about. Um, and she's basically, uh, she needs to find out the truth that she needs to like, she basically needs to find out the truth, find evidence that she didn't do this thing she's being blamed for, um, before she's caught because of course they are looking for her. Yes, they are. <laughs> I don't know. I'm loving it. It's very fast pace and it's like, yes. Give me more, I need more, so I'm gonna go read some more. So see you later. Her full name is Sil Sierra Sarah. What in a rhyming name madness? 
I finished. Um, before I, 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 I go into it, so this is mine Walker. And you know how, like, in the end, like, the last couple of pages of a book, you sometimes get, like, the next book's, you know, preview, sneaky preview, chapter, whatever. Why? What, why am I getting the first chapter of the same book I've just read? Whoever did this book, you made a boo-boo. You made a big boo-boo. Um, so, <laughs> which side? I don't know. Um, this book, honestly, it's a thrill ride. Yeah, the thrill ride of a lifetime, says Cat Dunn. I don't know who Cat Dunn is, but you're not wrong. You are not wrong. Honestly, it's like action paced action paced action fast paced some witty comments here and there it's very fun it's a lot of fun honestly so much fun uh i definitely recommend reading this book if you just want to you know quick read and just a good time cuz it's it's a good time so it's it's set in some weird ass futuristic gamer world where every now and again there will be like a acid rainstorm thing pollution i'm not even sure but <laughs> basically the the little snippets i got of the world because there's not a lot of like huge world building basically we're just in a city and kind of in a part of a city that's what I, that's the vibes i'm getting anyway we don't get a whole big picture but what i'm getting is that the world is pretty uninhabitable and yeah well most of the time sometimes i don't know most of the world seems very uninhabitable um and to survive, they've like generated, no, invented this technology. So there's basically the gamer part of the world is like they all of them have like different modifications to put in. You can be like eyesight, or you most of them have like I think it's like in the arm, it's like a little basically like a phone, it's like a little dashboard where you can like text and whatnot because most of the people don't have like like still has she's one of the walkers so she has like a computer in her brain um yeah but it's it's so cool honestly it's so cool what i do wonder however because this could very easily be a standalone because the ending is very much like well I, I almost said like, yeah, so they lived happily ever after. Not really. Um, yes and no, I guess. But the, the, the ending of this book is very much an ending. So I'm curious because there is a book too. I don't know if it's going to be more or if it's just a duology. We'll, we'll see, I suppose, because I think book two just came out like in September, something. I don't know. Yeah, I'm curious to see what book two has to say because this could very easily be just a standalone. So, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Uh, either way, yeah. If you want a good time, pick up a book. Um, <laughs> pick up a book. Pick up this book. Well, update for book two. Um, Mindbreaker. Yeah, um, so I picked this book up and I finished it before updating, like, at all. So, here's an update for the entire book. Listen, listen, okay? Both of these, they read so fast, it's insane. It's, it's so cool, but it's insane how fast they read. Uh, I mean, they're not the chunkiest of books, and uh, it's only about, like, 300 so pages. Uh, 300 
something too. Um, but still, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. I I, I have no words. So <clears throat> I read this one thinking, well, knowing that there was a big two, which I have here. Um, and then I come to the end and it's like, well, this could be a standalone. So how is book two gonna work? Well, <laughs> we follow someone else. <laughs> so characters from this book will show up in book number two, but uh, it's not the main character or characters. Character, I guess. Well, yeah. It's not the main one. It's not the one we're following anyway. But the girls, though. Just saying. So, in this one, we follow a girl called Indra. Now, Indra, she's grown up outside of the technological wonders of the world. She's grown out, out in the fringe in a cult. Yes, in a cult. <laughs> Basically a anti-technology cult. Yeah. Um, one thing leads to the other and she ends up well, she ends up in there, I, I want to say acid rain, but it's not acid rain, it's the... Oh, what's it called? The... the toxic fog. <sighs> wow, okay. Um, anyway, she ends up in the no-no weather storm, uh, and... Usually, well, I mean, uh, our main in this one kind of does too, and she goes and she gets these nanobots, nano, nanobots or nanite, anyway, um, that will fix you up. But Indra's body rejects said nanos, and uh, yeah, she, she basically dies. Um, but before she dies, <laughs> this mega corporate dude um basically uh one of the why do i want to say ancestors but that's not the right one that's not even in the right direction one of the opposition opposition that's the right word of the big corporate guys in this one they um go and buy indra yeah, <laughs> they buy Indra, body, life, soul, whatever, and turns her into a freaking robot. So where we basically start in this book is Indra as a robot and it, her trying to figure that one out. But we learn all the basics that I just said in the beginning of the book, so it's not really a spoiler. We just, uh, I just sped it up really anyway so while she's <laughs> while she's you know trying to figure out life as a robot or an ai or cyber as they call her um so it's basically it's basically her soul in a robot i guess they it, it's the brain that's the only part of her that's left I think I think that's as as close to an explanation to what she is as I can get. Um, so they have the technology. So they have like the exoskeleton. Um, it's all metal, but they have this like flesh mesh, which is basically putting skin on. So she doesn't look like a robot. She slightly behaves like one, but she doesn't look or sound like a robot. She looks and sounds like her human self, you know, before she disintegrated because she apparently was like allergic to the nanobots. She's trying to figure out life as a robot, cyber, whichever you want to call it. Well, she starts, all of a sudden, she starts getting these she has dreams of memories of things that hasn't happened. Now she starts questioning this and eventually it leads to her breaking out 
of big corporate place that creates robots. <laughs> and that's basically where it takes off. Now, she goes on a, I guess, mission. Mission to figure out what these dreams are. Um, because they, they feel more like memories than dreams. So, what are they? That's what she's got to figure out. She she figures it out. I don't want to say because that's too much of a spoiler. <coughs> Maybe I just spoil it by saying that. Anyway, along the way, she figures out a lot of other things as well. So, she kind of ends up with the gang from this book. Yeah. Because... There's a character in this book, a minor character, but semi-important, um, that could really use this robot body. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, they show up in, uh, in this one too, so, yeah. Uh, so there's that, like, they, the old gang wants to understand this technology. <coughs> Why is Tunisia ringing me? That's so weird. Anyway, so the old gang wants to figure out this technology um, that, you know, Indra is, basically. But Indra doesn't have all the answers to everything. And, you know, there's some love. Can a robot love? So what? I mean, she's she feels human to her, yet she is not completely human. Does that make sense? Probably not. Honestly, <coughs> all this coughing's doing my head in. Don't get sick, kids. It's messing with my life. Well, it's messing with my talking because I just need to cough all the time. Anyway, both of these books, they read so freaking fast but they're so freaking cool they're so freaking cool um <laughs> it's this amazing like gamer futuristic gamer cyber world with weird stuff going on and you know kind of starvation as well because uh, not everyone is rich and can afford you know everything <laughs> but they all seem to get it in one way or the other Anyway, highly recommend for a futuristic gamer adventure where you try to figure out the truth. The truth is out there and it may be in these books. Honestly, I mean, they both are like standalones in the same series. I would read this before reading this because you get to know some characters. <coughs> Now here's a question though, so will Kate Dillon write more books in this world, which I will kind of assume would be more standalone-ish books in the same series? What is that called? That has a word and I'm blanking on it. Yeah, that's not weird at all. I tend to blank on words a lot. This is why I make up stuff. <laughs> I make up words every now and again. You know. Anyway. It would be cool to see more of this world, but also, I kind of want to see what else Kate Dillon has up her sleeve, as it were. Also, while we're here, I mean, it was in the Yal call, but... <clears throat> can we appreciate some like signage and stamp stampage because it's it's pretty and it's fun woo bloody love this book books books bloody love these books kate dylan please write some more in this world or you know other things because that would be fun but also i kind of want to see more characters from this world I'm I'm hooked. I'm hooked. Sue me. Don't sue me. That would be terrible for me. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you've read these books, do let me know. What are your thoughts? Comment down below.
there's a whole section. Use it. <laughs> uh, or, you know, does this seem like an intriguing world to you? I don't know. I don't remember how much spoilers it's been in this vlog. We'll see when I edit. And you'll probably see before I remember to remember. Ha! Yeah, I'm sick, okay? I'm very poorly. My brain is all over the place and I'm about to start coughing again. So, I'll see you when I see you, which will be soon, because that's just how it goes. And until next time, take care, bye-bye.